What's up guys, what you're watching is an AI playing Sonic the Hedgehog using Neat. However, unlike in previous videos, I did not recreate this game or code this algorithm. I only wrote a Python script to connect the two. After encountering the struggles of writing my own Neat algorithm to beat the game Breakout, I decided to take a step back and really dive into what makes a successful Neat algorithm by using OpenAI and a pure Python implementation of Neat called Neat Python. And in this video, I'd like to share my findings. Before we get into the Sonic AI, I have a quick announcement. It's not, that, it's not that I got a bad haircut, I already know that. Don't need to remind me. It's that this video is sponsored by First Flight Coffee, and yes, that is my coffee company, but I figured I'd give it a proper a, a, a proper but short ad read. I'm not gonna be talking about, oh, this coffee has this flavor and that flavor. You can see all that on the website. Just know that it's really good coffee. I'm gonna give you a 10% discount. Just use the promo code AUGUST, because it's gonna last until the end of August, although Will Smith won't be very happy with that. You know, we're going to use it anyway. August, 10% discount on First Fly Coffee. Use the link down below. Enjoy the rest of the video. To understand NEAT, you have to understand where it comes from, its roots. It falls under a larger category called TWIANS, if that's how you pronounce it. This stands for Topology and Weight Evolving Artificial Neural Networks. These are algorithms that not only evolve the strength of the connection weights for a fixed network topology, but actually evolves both the topology of the network and its weights. The folks behind the NEAT algorithm identified three major challenges for TWIANS, meaningful crossover, speciation, and structure complexity. They designed NEAT to specifically address each one by tracking genes through historical markings, protecting structural innovation through speciation, and incrementally growing from minimal structure. This prevents the algorithm from blindly crossing over the genomes of two neural networks and creating horribly mutated networks. It protects new structures as they are typically at a disadvantage, allowing them to optimize before we eliminate them, and this is done by splitting up the population into several species based on the similarity of topology and connections, and they only compete within their species. It also prevents the algorithm from creating complex networks that may have to later reduce the number of nodes and connections after the fact. They did this by starting all networks with no hidden nodes. It only has the input nodes, output nodes, and a series of connection genes between them. And if it is found to be useful and necessary, then it can evolve in complexity. To get an even better understanding, I'll put together a real world example. I started off by creating a Python virtual environment so I could do everything the traditional Python pip way without it interfering with my operating system. I then installed OpenAI Gym Retro. I imported my Sonic ROM directly from my Steam library. We're not breaking any laws up in here. And it was ready to roll. And this, <laughs> this is Sonic using a random AI agent. And he has no idea what he's doing. But then again, neither do I. So who am I to judge? Now to use neat Python, we have to code up a script. I already did that and don't really feel like typing it again. So here's what it looks like. We also had to change a handful of values in this file. And if I didn't screw anything up like I normally do, we should be able to type in Python sonic.py and have it work. The first time I did this, it didn't work. So I banged on the side of my computer like normal. And what do you know, it worked. Now this is the very first generation of Sonic. And what you'll notice is it is implementing only a very simple set of outputs. Some try to go left, some try to go right, others try to duck and so on. This is one of the primary uses of neat algorithm at work, starting off with minimal structure. Now this doesn't mean they don't have access to all the controls because they actually do, but instead the algorithm isn't yet taking all factors into consideration. That will take time. Ah, oh, come on, Sonic. You don't have to be scared. Just run forward. You got this. <laughs> All right, let's move forward a few generations and see how Sonic does. This loop-de-loop -loop man, he just can't figure it out. You even saw one of the members in the first generation reach this loop and it's now what, 12 generations later and he still can't figure it out. I do know if I gave him more time, he'd have a much better chance. Speaking of which, let me show you this script. Right now, he's at 300 frames, meaning if Sonic doesn't make any forward progress after about four seconds, he's eliminated and the next member in the generation gets a shot. And I could increase this, but we're already on the 12th generation and he may surprise us here soon. I also don't really care to watch Sonic duck in fear for any more than four seconds. So while Sonic does his thing, let me show you something. Over in our terminal, you'll notice that we can see the performance of each member of the population along with an overview of the previous generation. This is displaying the results of the best player in each species, another primary use of the neat algorithm at work, speciation. 
As our AI trains throughout more generations, a few more species may be created as the population becomes more diverse. Oh yeah, wait a second, I forgot to show you something. The script also includes other integral data to allow the AI to work properly, delivering it values like the current max fitness, Sonic's exposition, which is what I use to determine forward progress, and other stuff. But as far as need is concerned, I'm about nerded out. Let's see if Sonic can get past this loop-de-loop -loop and finish the rest of the level. There it is, the Sonic AI has officially taught itself to beat this level, and you officially have a better understanding of how the neat algorithm actually works and why it was created, or at least that was my hope. If that's the case, I'd appreciate if you left a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I have something very special planned for next video. As a matter of fact, oh, there goes my boat title. I got a new boat. I, well, it's not a new boat. It's an old boat. I'm restoring it. But this is what I'm talking about here, the NVIDIA Titan RTX. So if you want to see that in action, stay tuned. Tell them.